Today I'm going to show you how to make our really cool little milk carton. And first what we got to do is cut it out with our Big Shot. This is the milk carton die. And all that we're going to do is make our sandwich with first putting down our, extend, our um, standard cut size cutting pad, then putting down our milk carton die. Then I have a piece of crumb cake, formerly known as craft cardstock. And then I'm going to put the top sandwich being the other cutting pad. Just roll it through. Let's start making our milk carton die. The first thing that we're going to do is there's the bottom flaps that make up the bottom of our box and we're going to fold them in on the creases. So nice that the big shot die goes ahead and makes the creases for us. And by doing that you can really see where the bottom line is. Next thing we're going to do is I want to add a little decoration to the bottom of my box. And I'm going to do that before you put it together. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Pedaling Pass stamp set from our current summer mini and I'm going to use this little border piece right here. And I love the clear mount because they take up less room and it's, it's really nice because you can see the stamp and see exactly where you're going. But I always have trouble lining up my border stamps no matter if they're wood or clear mount. And I really like to have them perfect. So what I'm going to use today is I'm going to use our Stampin' Majig and our imaging, our imaging sheet and our Stampin' Majig. And um, I've already made it to where I have uh, stamped the image on here. And how I did that is I lined the imaging sheet into the crook of my Stampin' Majig, inked up my stamp image, and then put the block in the crook and stamped straight down. And then I got this image right here. And how we're going to use that and make sure that I get it all nice and even is I'm going to take this imaging sheet and just where the line is from where we made our creases, I'm going to line the image on my imaging sheet right on top of that line. Hold it in place, take my stamp a jig set it so that the imaging sheet is once again in the crook. Holding the stamp a jig down, I'm going to move away the imaging sheet. Get my stamp nice and inked up. Place the clear block in the crook and stamp straight down. And pull straight back up. And there you see I have a nice straight image. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue that image by taking the imaging sheet once again and lining up the image that we just stamped with the image on the imaging sheet, making sure it's nice and straight. Hold the image sheet down, take our stamp image once again, line it up in the crook. Remove the imaging sheet, ink up our stamp, once again place the block in the crook, and stamp straight down. And it's off just a little bit, but not enough to really take away from the effect of the full border. And there's just a little bit left here, so once again I'm going to line up the image sheet. Use the stamp of a jig. Ink up my stamp. Crook and stamp straight down. And there you go. A nice straight border. And set that aside. And we stamped that image in um, Early Express, so stamping up some new chocolate brown color. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold on the creases. There are creases that make up the, the sides of the box and what we're going to do is we're going to fold those in. And there's also one little flap right here that makes the connector part. I'm going to fold that in. 
there's a part right here. It's a, a line that makes the top of the box and we're just going to fold that in. Now there's another part right here at the top. We're actually going to fold it the opposite way and fold it towards us instead of away. All right. And what I find easiest is to actually put the sticky strip right here and uh, go ahead and close up the box first. And then I feel like the, the points on here on this box just kind of seem to go together easier. So go ahead and put our sticky strip there. Sticky strip is a must have for 3D projects. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to simply fold in your ends as you go. And then when you get to the end, you're going to fold in that piece that we put the adhesive on, lining up this bottom corner with this piece, and just make it connect so you have a nice, straight, clean edge, just like that. Okay? And we haven't glued down our bottom yet, and no, we'll get to that. But you'll see on the top of your box, right here, there is a little bit of a triangle shape. That's because they're, um, when the die cut it out, it made the score lines. So there's one that makes a triangle shape here, and then on, looking at it, there's one that makes a triangle shape here. On the opposite side, there's another triangle. Those are the parts that go in. It's the easiest way to do it is to put your finger where the triangle point is on either side, and push with your fingers in, and then close. Isn't that easy? And then all you do is when it's closed and you have it laying on your table, you just push down a little bit and that strengthens those creases. Now, the milk carton can be closed like this or it can be opened. To make the opening, you'll see on one of the, the flat sides, there's going to be a little score line, just one, and it makes um, half of a triangle. And then on the exact opposite side, there's going to be one going the other direction. Well, this is the side that makes the opening flap. And all you do is open it just like those old milk cartons you had at school. And there you go. To close up the bottom, all I do is um, I run a piece of snail on this piece right here just to close it up. And then I take a sticky strip right along the edge. Cut it off. Take off the backing. and then fold it over and press and there you go and then if you want to close up the top you could put um, some sticky strip here or you can just use a library clip snail or even poke some holes in there and place in some ribbon but that's a cool box and it would be great for sending little treats or maybe packing a special little surprise in your kids lunch for the first baby back to school so Thanks, and if you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks. Bye.